Hello, and thank you for taking the time to watch one of our Quick Help System videos. In this video, we will provide a quick overview of the Universe Finder Utility and explain the differences between the earlier versions of the Universe Finder Utility compared to the most recent versions of the Universe Finder Utility. The Universe Finder Utility is used to program the Ethernet settings in the CICP2100 and the CICP2100S controllers. The CICP2100 controller was released approximately two years ago. This model mounted in a double gang box. The new CICP2100S controller is a surface mount controller mounted in an enclosure. The Universe Finder utility is used to program the network settings into the two different controllers. This includes downloading Ethernet firmware to the Ethernet adapter, configuring the IP address, baud rate, and server port number. The original Universe Finder utility contained a web utility only and required a supported web browser. The utility was version 1.2.0.0 and earlier. The new Universe Finder utility is version 1.2.3.x or later. This utility contains a non-web NLM configuration setup page and also the original web utility. In all cases, it is recommended to use the version 1.2.3.x Universe Finder utility. To determine which portion of the new utility to use, it all depends on the version of Ethernet firmware in the controller. Very important! If the Ethernet firmware version is 12.6.8 or earlier, you must just use the web portion of the utility to update the firmware. If the Ethernet firmware version is 12.7.8 or later, you must use the non-web NLM configuration setup page. First, a DHCP-enabled router is recommended to provide an IP address to the CICP2100 and the CICP2100S controller network adapters. The CICP2100 and CICP2100S network adapters default to DHCP mode. Next, a computer with the Universe Finder utility is required and also a supported web browser if the Ethernet firmware is 12.6.8 or earlier. The supported web browsers are Chrome and Internet Explorer, but Chrome is recommended. Very important, the computer with the Universe Finder utility must be on the same subnet as the IP address provided to the CICP2100 and CICP2100S unit by the DHCP-enabled router. Again, by default, the CICP2100 and CICP2100S will be configured to DHCP mode when purchased. If there is any previously programmed IP address information already programmed in, it is recommended to reset the unit. To reset the CICP2100 and CICP2100S back to the default network settings, you must install a jumper, apply a short, across the J3 jumper on the Ethernet interface board while cycling power to the CICP2100 and CICP2100S. This will default the network adapter back to the default DHCP mode. After the CICP2100 and CICP2100S powers up, you must remove the jumper from J3 after 5 seconds. J3 is the two pins closest to the cutout in the PCB. Please refer to the service and installation manual for the jumper locations. Prior to starting, please take note of the MAC address of the CICP2100 and CICP2100S unit. There will be a label on the unit displaying the MAC address. Configure the computer, router and universe unit as per the drawing. Next. Launch the Universe Finder Utility version 1.2.3.x or later. If there is not a shortcut on the desktop, 
Open up File Explorer and launch the CardAccess.Universe Finder from the CardAccess 4K Tools folder. Next, the Universe Finder utility should display. Verify the CICP2100 option is selected and then click Discover. The Universe Finder should display all the Universe units on the network. At this point, you must view the MAC addresses of the units found and determine if your Universe unit is in the list. If your Universe unit is in the list, you must first verify that the firmware version is 12.7.8 or later to perform the following steps. If not, skip to the web portion of the video. For the following demonstration, we will select a unit displaying 12.7.8 or later firmware. For firmware version 12.7.8 or later, we will use the NLM Configuration Setup page to program in the Ethernet settings. Next, double-click the unit in the list. The NLM Configuration Setup page will display. The NLM Configuration Setup page contains all the same settings as the web portion of the utility that we will be discussing later in the video. Very important! You will either be using the NLM Configuration Setup page or the Web Configuration page, but not both. First, take note of the three buttons on the bottom. The Read Config button is more for diagnostic purposes. The Write Config button will save your changes after you make changes on the configuration screen. The Download NLM Firmware button will be used to download new firmware to the unit. Next, on the top left, it will display the MAC address of the unit you have selected and the IP address currently in the unit. The top right are the login credentials for the utility. If you have not changed them, they should be admin and admin. Below is the local IP address of the computer with the Universe Finder utility. Below the unit information, the current Ethernet firmware in the unit will display. If this needs to be updated, click the Download NLM Firmware button and download an updated firmware image. Next is the current IP address programmed into the device. The box below will state if the IP address was supplied from DHCP or it is a static IP address. Very important! The IP address in the device must never change. So if this IP address is supplied by DHCP, you must program in a static IP address, subnet mask and gateway IP address. Next, below the IP information, you have the ability to change the login credentials to the utility. As previously mentioned, the default is admin and admin and in most cases, you will not be changing this. Next, on the right, you have the option to change the baud rate and server port number. Very important! After making the changes we just discussed, you must click the Write Config button to save the settings. Once you save the settings, you can click Close. Upon clicking Close, the units that were discovered should display again. For the following demonstration, we will select a unit in the list containing Ethernet firmware version 12.6.8 or earlier, and we will click the Launch Web button. The Universe Finder web page should display. If you are prompted for a username and password, type in admin and admin. As previously mentioned, you must verify that the firmware version is 12.6.8 or earlier to use the web portion of the Universe Finder utility. If the firmware is not 12.7.8 or later, you need to update the firmware. To update the Ethernet firmware, click the Update Firmware button. Then click the Browse button. After clicking the Browse button, navigate to the Firmware folder and select the CON-12.7.8 
8.8 or later bin file. Once the file is selected, click Update. The board will reboot after updating the firmware. Please wait one minute. Then reopen this web page to check the firmware version displayed on this screen. Next, if you want to change the default login from admin and admin, click User Setup and change the username and password. This is optional. Next, click Setup. The Setup screen is where you select DHCP or Static. It is recommended to program in a static IP, so the IP address does not change. Once you select Static, you can enter in your static IP address, subnet mask, and gateway information. On this screen, you also select your baud rate. It is recommended to select 921K. The lowest baud rate a universe should be set to is 57,600. One more setting is the server port number. It is recommended to leave the server port at 3001. After entering in your settings, click Save. This concludes the video explaining the CICP2100 and the CICP2100S Universe Finder Utility. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video.